as a corollary, this picture shows that the interactive communication is more effective than the other forms. This graph gives also a reason why the door-to-door -door sales, despite being a drudgery and a primitive tool, are still the most effective sales system. This graph also reveals why the non-interactive media crave to appear as interactive with some kind of tricks we know well, the letters to the, to the director in the newspapers, the presence of the public in the studios of the TV programs, and so on. And finally, I think this graph is relevant in the education realm. I hand my presentation spending a few words on Noema, the web magazine which is among the organizers of this event. Noema is a non-profit web magazine devoted to culture and new technologies, interrelation and influences. It was born for educational reasons in 2000. So in 2010, to today we celebrate our small anniversary, 10 years, as well as the 20th anniversary of my university teaching. Noema's advisors board can count on Giovanni Anceschi, Roy Escott, Louis Beck, Valerio Eletti, Franz Fischnaller, Marina Gzinic, Giuseppe Longo and Franco Toriani. Among Noema's educational projects, I want to mention here the eLab, a learning lab, which was born in 2002 as a teaching platform to collaborate. The eLab is online for the courses which need a learning system to share material to confront on the topic and improve their teaching activities. We provide this service for free. And since 2002, the e-learning lab has been hosting 35 university and academy courses. The EDU list, which gathers information about academic courses, masters, and PhDs on our sciences and technologies, a project in collaboration with Yasmin, a mailing list co-sponsored by UNESCO, which is a network of artists, scientists, engineers, theoreticians, and institutions promoting communication and collaboration in our science and technology around the Mediterranean rim. Noema is based uh, on a previous experience, web experience, in late 1994, Magnet, which was originally born as a BBS magazine in March 1994. In this screenshot, we can find some of the participants to the always already new event today, who seems uh, are still interested in keen on culture and uh, new technology. Thank you for your attention.